As we honor America this Memorial Day weekend, let us pause and remember the men and women who sacrificed their lives to protect our freedom and preserve our Constitution. To perform tasks. Good afternoon, Braves fans, from the lead cockpit of the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. We're proud to be with you here today in Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600. Now, after a short countdown, please join me in the most famous command in motorsports. Three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your engines. The engines have fired along pit road. The Thunderbirds blaze across the sky, a rainbow above the back straightaway. And we are set to enjoy the freedom to run 600 miles on NASCAR on Fox. Take a look further back where some of those Roush cars will start that have been so dominant here in recent years. There's Kenseth, the point leader in 18th, and Mark Martin, last year's winner of this race. Dale Jr., who wants to take that point lead for the first time. Here is Mike Wallace. Talk with Jay Fry today, their team manager, and he's had several conversations with Jerry Nadu. Nadu's been calling him on the cell phone. How's the car going? How are we doing? And the best news I heard was just the other day, Jerry's coach driver was on the way up to the hospital in Richmond. Jerry rang him up on the cell phone and said, hey, uh, pick up some ice cream on your way. How about that? How about that? He's progressing well, and uh, I think uh, his release from the hospital in Richmond will come sooner rather than later. There's not an exact timetable, but they're starting to make preparations uh, for Jerry Nader to come home. Send the cars into a green-yellow condition. This means that the track is not available for passing you're not at racing speed but the pace car will pick up speed to help in drying efforts and beginning now the laps will count yeah those weepers off the corner there i mean you just can't let the cars go racing with that happening uh the cars are, are set uh, certainly early on when the pressures are low and the tracks doesn't have any rubber on it it'd be very uh wouldn't be a good idea now three laps drying the track from rains two hours earlier. Caution on lap 103 for rain, and this is caution. They had discussed doing that. Ryan Malik is the rear tire carrier, and Ryan Peppa is the rear tire changer. Peppa, boom, that thing came flying out of there. He threw it about 10 feet in the air. Here goes Johnson. The car had gotten tight. Jeff Gordon is in. So is Elliot Sadler. Bobby Labonte, now Dale Earnhardt Jr., is second because Greg Biffle had to pit. Yeah, I mean, he came to pit road on the green. He was only there for about three or four seconds, and all they did besides put a little gas in him is they reached up there and pulled one of the windshield tear-offs. No adjustments, no tires change, just reached up there, and watch, he's only going to be there for a couple seconds, just pulled one of the tear-offs, and he's away. But I think I can show you why he had to come to pit road on the green and give up second place. We're riding with Dale Jarrett right here in the UPS car. How would you like to be running 190 miles per hour looking at that? And I think the reason we see this is because Kenny Wallace for getting a report in the 23 car possibly is blowing some oil. And no, there he is right yeah, there. He's coming to the pit road and you can see the smoke. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's like it's an overflow yeah. 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 That would be oil and water down the side of that car. Yeah, he's... Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that milky mess means We're something inside the engine isn't where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Stick me with a fork, I'm done. Steve Burns. And Mike, we have found the tear off that came off of Craig Biffle's windshield, and you can see, you can't even see through it. That's how murky wow. it was for Craig Biffle. So Biffle was second. He pitted to remove the tear off and then was too fast leaving the pits. He had to serve a drive through penalty. And now he has dropped to 17th place. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what kind of shield you've got or anything else. Uh, you're not going to see through that right there. That's what the drivers are looking for. Yeah, somebody's up against a wall down there. I can't tell who it is. He can't get the pit road. It's Kurt Busch, the 97 car. And, and he can't get the pit road. He's going to cut across the grass, so we stay green. No caution. But Bush, I'm thinking 39, 39, 39. Back here. That, he can't, he can't. Congratulations, Coke 600 winner. I can't believe we did this here at uh, Lowe's Motor Speedway in Lowe's Monte Carlo. We knew we were going to have a
a great race car again, but coming from the back, uh, we didn't. Right here. He's the master of this place. <laughs> we didn't know what was going to happen, and I, I'm just so proud of this entire race team, everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, we, we've been able to have, count on our great pit stops. The last two had us 